Hello friends, press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for more such easy videos. Hello friends, I am Sunil sir and I am back with a new video. Friends, in this video we are going to discuss about the biology paper pattern. The paper pattern which has changed as compared to the last year. How you are supposed to write your paper, how it will help you a lot to score good marks with respect to each section. So watch this video till the end so that it can benefit you. You all are aware with the paper pattern but the problem is how to write your paper pattern because as all you might have given prelims in your colleges so definitely you know how the paper pattern will be but the problem is the approach towards the paper. Last year it was very different like it was paper 1 and paper 2 separately now paper 1 and paper 2 has been merged together and it has been brought under a set of 30 questions. So first we need to understand certain things. Number 1 your entire paper pattern is going to have four sections section A, B, C and D when I talk about section A you need to understand it is from question number 1 to question number 8 now this is having only one marks so it is MCQs four MCQs and next four will be all one line so all you have is only eight marks as objectives now question, section B is going to start with question number 9 and it will end till question number 18. So from 9 to 18 is your course section B and this section B is going to carry 2 marks each. So logically section B is for 20 marks. Now in this section B you are going to get options and the option will be available on question number 18. But the biggest problem or I can say it's good part is that the option will come from the same chapter. For example if this section B one question has been asked from human reproduction so it simply means that the option also will come from human reproduction earlier it was not like this there were like two options one question was from different chapter other question was from different chapter but now both the options will be from same chapter when I say section C is from 19 to 27 and each question will carry three marks so this is three mark question so what is expected here a diagram a small diagram is must if you want to score good marks in section C you need to understand there will be one option one option available so if I say question number 26 so you need to understand that there will be one option and that option also will be again from the same chapter and last section that we have is section D now we talk about section D section D has 28 29 and 30 four questions will be three questions will be there and this each question is going to carry five marks and on question number 28 29 and 30 in all the three questions you are going to get options for example if the question number 28 is from control coordination so the option of 28 will also be from control and coordination so this is how your paper pattern is all about first we need to understand how to write your paper what i observed while checking the paper is let's take for example the student has started writing section a now when they started writing section A, they wrote say, question 1, 2, 3, 4, MCQ is done. But 5, 6, 7, 8 was written somewhere else on some other side of the paper. That should not be the case. When you are starting with section A, completely write your section A completely. If you are not able to recollect or remember any answer, just leave space for that section A. Don't write that section A ka question number 7 on some other page that will somewhere put you in trouble because the examiner they have to enter marks like in section A the child has written six questions so they write six but if they found the question seven has been written somewhere else and they have to do overwriting then it makes them angry so logically what you are allowed to do is section A one two three four five six seven eight if you don't know the answer leave space move on to section B complete your section B 9 10 11 12 till you can say 18 questions completely write your section B and then section C and then section D it is not going to matter which section you want to start first let's say for example you want to start with section C it's fine but you need to completely write your section C and if you are unable to write any answer then you have to somewhere or the other write uh, leave some space and write the answer afterwards now for example let us take it in this way you all have written section A completely and somehow you wrote section 7 like question number 7 wrong answer so the problem is that you have not left any space so just cancel out that question number 7 and write the answer somewhere else let's say for example you have written on page number 1 now you are repeating that question number 7 answer on page number 18 so what you do you know just write there 
answer on page number 18 so that when the examiner is checking the paper what will happen you will understand that question number 7 you have written wrong by mistake and you have cancelled it and you have written the answer again on question page number 18 so what will happen from page number 1 you will just move on to page number 18 and he will check your answer and he will give you marks but if you have not written that where you have written the answer then again it makes the examiner a bit angry because every time he has to cancel your marks and you have to enter any marks so somewhere or the other while writing you need to understand these things keep certain things in mind section a when you are writing mention big block section a then once it is done section b big block section b then section c and section d so when we are turning your answer sheet we should be able to understand that you have written section a b c and d separately that is the most important thing and what you need to understand for section b which is a two mark question if diagram you want to draw draw it is okay but for section c it is three marks question and if it is three marks question you need to draw the diagram whether the diagram has been asked in the question or not if it's a diagram based question then definitely they will ask draw neat and label diagram so it will be there and for five section c and section d section c diagram drawing i suggest it is compulsory but it's all up to you and for section d diagram has to be there compulsorily because most of the time when you draw the diagram by looking at the diagram we can understand that whether you know the answer or not right so that is how you are supposed to do your paper now coming to the next and the most important part if there are two options given in the same question as far as possible try to avoid writing both the answers first reason is it will save your time and second reason is the examiner has to check same question two times and if he enters the marks twice then he will cut one of your marks and if you are not confident in any one of the answers so let's say for example you are not knowing the any of the questions answers so what you can do you know write both the answers the one which one is better is going to be given marks but again it should be written or in the same page don't write one option here and second option on some other page that is going to create a problem so to get good marks in the biology section what things are required follow section a b c d properly any cancellation if you're writing answer somewhere else please mention with pencil that the answer has been written on this page number section c when you talk about the next part draw a diagram for section c and section d compulsorily if you draw it's much better because diagram is going to speak much louder than your words neatness is required that's it the paper pattern has changed but the answer has not changed the answer is going to remain same the question is going to remain same there will be some application based question but that application based questions will not be difficult it will be very simple it's like they will give you a huge paragraph and they will ask you what exactly it means it means they are going to give the answer and they are expecting you to write the question it is somewhat like that so application based questions will be there logical thinking will be there and the paper pattern let's see how the board is going to set this year because this is the first time me and you both we are going to observe the paper for the first time and let's see till then keep studying stay blessed keep supporting sunil sir thank you very much